we look okay? No. no. Let's go. Coffee looks strong. Swedish coffee. Should be strong. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's just perfect. That'll you do. You know why it's perfect? Because huh? I made it. Okay, best coffee ever. Mm, great. Cheers. What's up, everyone? And welcome to Coffee with Ola. Exclusive with Jen Majura, stalker Jen. There she is. How are you doing? Before we start talking, I just have to say, she just landed with the, you know, the airplane goes So she's like straight off the plane right now and like right into the chair for an interview. That's that's just hardcore. That's how, that's pros right there. Just saying, how are you doing? That's what friends are for. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Awesome. Yeah, the coffee will help. I'm, I got up at 3.30. Okay. Uh, so I'm a little bit... If you insult my coffee, no, that that goes straight into my heart. No, absolutely, like that's, that goes really deep. This is the really, best really coffee deep. I've tasted in a long time. And I don't believe you, <laughs> Jen. It's so nice to have you back. I mean, when was the last time we even saw each other? Probably Nam, like last twenty. Twenty twenty, I think Nam. Last time I went there was twenty twenty. Yeah, that that's that's, that has to be it. That was a long time ago. And then obviously, no, actually, we didn't really. Did we talk? Oh yeah, we did. Yes, yes, I remember. It because... doesn't seem like I would be the person that wouldn't talk. <laughs> so I don't think I, I, I don't I don't recognize that. But remember the one time, like I sent you in the evening when I got back to my hotel room, I sent you that video of how I was stalking you. I'm like standing right next yeah, to you, and you didn't yeah, even see me. Yeah, yeah, pro one stalker. I, I figured it would just be time to get you over here, record some videos. I mean, we have a bunch of videos where we did together, which were really popular and awesome because I think a lot of people like you, Jen. So Aww. why not just bring you back, put you in the chair? Also, a couple things have happened since. Yes. So, <laughs> so, you know, the, the important thing is to be first on the ball with a lot of things. Absolutely. And it's, but no, it's also really nice to see you and to have you here, obviously. And Am I the first to come back to no. Coffee with Ola? No. Tom of Evergrey was here a couple Twice? weeks. Twice? No, I mean twice. This is my second coffee with you. This is, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is the second, the first time someone comes back. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, that, that that means a lot. Thank you. Just, Thank you for having so me you, again. <laughs> obviously. So uh, let's just cut straight to business. Yes, There's sir. a big evanescence in the room. Oh, did I say that? Uh, elephant in the room. Jen was in a very big band. That yes. was uh, equal size of uh, Metallica. And uh, let's just call it Metallica. Yeah. I mean, that happens. Yeah. You, you, get, an, uh, you get to leave, basically. Yes. yes. So, uh, which is an incredible shame because I haven't personally cared that much about the band Metallica. <laughs> this is not Metallica we're talking about, but, <laughs> you know, until Jen actually joined the band. And, you know, that, so it feels, it feels weird. It uh, does. Uh, how does it feel for you? I believe, honestly, that's like, what, three weeks now, and I am since I got the news and I am still in this blurry, oblivious momentum. I, I guess I'm still in shock, mm -hmm. kind of, because, you know, after being married six years, out of a sudden you're divorced. Like it's, ugh. You know, yeah. So. That's a really, a, a really good comparison right there because if you're in a band, yeah. it's basically like breaking up with five people. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, it's, I, you know me, I always try to like find the positive mm -hmm. in a situation. So mm -hmm. every day, step by step, I'm not doing great yet, mm -hmm. but every day I find like little tiny things that where I'm like, oh, actually this is a good. For example, now I, can, I yeah, Now you now have I, more time to stalk Ola. I've got more time to stalk Ola. <laughs> and I'm here, you know, yes. like freedom and uh, the ability to just make decisions right on the spot. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's cool, that's nice. So on the day, where Metallica contacted you, <laughs> James Hetfield's Labrie contacted you and, uh, and uh, br brought you the news. What, what, what happened? I was, honestly, I was cleaning my apartment. Mm -hmm. As and one does, just yeah, before just, receiving a phone know, call. Cleaning, cleaning my apartment and um, I got the phone call. And I mean, I, first of all, I was like, is this a bad joke? Mm. And I, I remember after I got the news, I hung up and I have this like this hallway in between my studio and my living room and I just laid there on the floor staring at the ceiling wondering what, what that was and literally looking over to my suitcase that I have already started packing because I was going out on tour. two weeks from going out on the road mm -hmm. until pretty much the end of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm hurt and still 
in this blurry confusion of what just happened. Mm. Yep. That sucks. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> but you know, new offers, the new offers come in. Oh, I, and I don't doubt it. Like, the thing is that I understand it's a marriage that you've been a part of of six years. Exactly. It's nice to be in that marriage, but there's also other things in this world. It's also nice to be single again. <laughs> exactly, just saying. And being but, out there and, and, you know, right now, you have the best opportunities ahead of you. These few offers, big offers, I was honestly telling them, like, listen, I just got out of that marriage with Metallica. Oh, wait, so, so you, you already got offers from Megadeth? <laughs> <laughs> from other bands. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So you already you have offers. Okay, what are you thinking about that? Are, are is it something you're going to consider, or, or do you want to break? Or I I would like to consider, but not now, not yet, because okay. I feel like it would be not a not a nice move if I play the okay person that I am still when I'm still processing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not ready to jump into a next marriage right now. And yeah. man. People watching you this don't video want are gonna go like, "What band. the hell are they talking about?" Metallica no, but it, like, marriage. Have, well, liking, <laughs> having like a rebound band, you know, just like you have a rebound boyfriend or girlfriend no. in a relationship. No, I can't. The, well, to be really honest, what I want to do right now is first of all focus on me and my music again. Because what I realize is that you, when you, that's difficult to say. Um, I feel like I lost a little bit of my music inside of me mm -hmm. during these past years because I, I what I right now do what I right now want to do is I want to get reconnect with myself and feel and hear and play my music again and who knows the plan is so far you heard it here first I'm gonna write my third solo album Ta -da! I just want to ask you are you okay like are you really okay like that that come, that's a question that comes from 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 my heart just saying are, are you okay Jen do you need a hug? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm here for the hugs. No, but like it's. I'm getting there. I mean, I'm, you I'm can you can joke around however you want, but it is a process that needs to be absolutely processing. Absolutely, and like I said, it would be wrong of me if I would play the "Hey, I'm totally okay, Jen." Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's it's tough, and like I said, I'm still not great, but I'm getting there every day with tiny little things that make life beautiful mm. like my spontaneous trip to Sweden mm. exactly I mean now you're free to do whatever the fuck you want exactly and that 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 feels awesome freedom is priceless what happens to your guitars <laughs> okay so <laughs> <laughs> where are the guitars as I told you in during the last coffee with Ola um, Metallica mm -hmm. have a lot of different tunings so mm -hmm. I have a lot of different guitars and especially when we started talking about like even more tunings I had even more guitars and half of those are on <laughs> on tour right now oh, okay. with Metallica, and the other half is still stuck in 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 you know Lars as, as I uh, are basement. exactly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the delivery of my tour gear. That is just, I mean, that's fun, right? This this gear is on tour without a musician right now. <laughs> what what was your gear on tour by I've the way? Got, what, what's like? What, is it like this? Um. I, I'm not sure if I had two 2x12s two or four 4x12s. Four uh, I don't remember. Wow. <laughs> but that, that's, I, the, that's the rock star right there. Yeah, it's but, like, I don't know. But you, man. Don't, <laughs> but you don't see the calves. They're yeah, not okay. on stage, so I don't know. And um, the, But I have a rack yep. with um, two Helix, Line 6 Helix mm -hmm. rack versions and two Synergies. Okay. And um, yeah, so that rack is supposed to be at my place hopefully in like two weeks mm -hmm. and as well as I believe seven guitars and then I have another chunk of guitars like I said still sitting in Nashville and two more Helix and some more cabs and oh uh, if I put all that gear into my little apartment I can move out or I don't fit in my apartment anymore can oh. I store some of my gear here uh, we talk about that later. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's uh, I've been a Pia. I can hey, happily I'll, store that here. I'm gonna have two Pias then. I just got the black one. Oh, which is fantastic. I love I've that guitar. It. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one, I don't know. You saw that crazy colored one? Yes. That uh, David Bonvillain. I'm never sure how to pronounce his name. Okay. Um, he swore it. Genau. Yeah. Genau. Genau. I speak German out of a sudden. Ah. 
Um, oh, stool couch. <laughs> <laughs> and he did a he did a fantastic paint job on that guitar, mm -hmm. and it glows in black light. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna. So you have destroyed a pier. I didn't destroy <laughs> it. I just gave it an and David yes. gave it an extra. Yeah, I've seen it. It looks cool. cool All as I'm hell. saying, I'm gonna have two pias. Just saying. For sale? No, probably not. Not both of them. But I, well, in the end, <laughs> in the end, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot, lot, lot of guitars. Mm -hmm. And my plan as of right now is. Oh, we're going, I'm going to go to the Guitar Summit. You, you uh, played there, right? Uh, yes, once. Yeah. Yep. Um, I played the first one, and Guitar Summit is in September. Okay. And I'm working with the guys right now to have an auction for at least, I guess, seven, eight guitars. Um, mm -hmm. And if all goes well, I want to donate the money to the local animal shelter. God damn it, Jen. Too awesome. <laughs> That's cool. We actually didn't plan to make this. I just wanted to bring Jen over to Sweden because uh, I, I felt that it, it, it felt needed. You know, it's been a long time now. And yeah. uh, what, what, are, what are your plans for the future now? That uh, we have a summer upon us. What's going to happen? <sighs> Enjoy life. Mm -hmm. um, go see some concerts. Go see some friends play. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. going to see Steve Vai. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> But we're not going to the same show, though. No. Mm. And uh, you know, it's just enjoy the freedom of like literally. Hey, my friends are playing close by tomorrow. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And um, yeah, and also like I want to really focus, like I said before, reconnecting, reconnecting with myself again, finding my music inside of me again, and then see whether there's an album coming out or not. Um, I wrote one song within the past. What was that? Three years, yeah, and it's called. Te is is that okay to say? Testicles. That's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind saying testicles a lot. Okay. A testicle song. Yeah. Okay. How did you come up uh, with that uh, beautiful name of a song? Okay, the story of testicles is um, I was listening to a lot of Devin Townsend at that mm. time, his podcast, which That's I love, love, love. Devin is fantastic, and um, I was teaching him at music school. And drove back home and I swear I, I was driving it was late at night and you see the trees on the side of the street and they were like rainbow colors mm -hmm. and I'm like okay well listen listening to Deb's voice like mm -hmm. this and then I see rainbow trees and I'm like okay this is it that's it you're losing your mind mm -hmm. and then I went back home and thought about how cool would it be to write about testicles <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wait. Tell me more. <laughs> so the idea was the following. Testicles? Yeah. Let me live inside your testicles to recreate my existence. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the oh, whole wow, thing. Wow, that's deep. The, wow. Right? Let me crawl back to your uterus and define me new. That was the whole part. And I'm like, well, if I'm being reborn as a, as a, as a sperm, then I could, <laughs> then I could like create myself again and probably not lose my mind, or maybe I would, I don't wow. know. Uh, speaking of future, have you ever considered a uh, pro career in stalking? Yeah, I like actually... full on 100% stalking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have employees already. Um, I founded uh, a company mm -hmm. that is uh, MJ Stalking. Mm, um, Michael Jackson Stalking. Exactly. And uh, yeah, the, we have like only one. <laughs> we, the employees do a very good job. They, they place themselves around this one customer, like in every kind of like possible. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I loved yes. it. Yes. I loved it. I loved Great. it. Great. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Are you, are you tired? I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, oh, I'm worth mentioning is that we, we didn't actually apply for no. this at all. We just sat down and, and put on the camera. I just, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's always good to have you here, Jen. And um, Thank you. Exi excited to see you every Sunday on the Sunday with Ola in the chat. It's absolutely it, it, it like there's the same people there all yeah. the time. Has made it a tradition. Yes. And uh, it, it like it it just makes me so happy <laughs> to see that people are doing this on a Sunday morning. The older I get, the earlier I get up. Is that the same yes. for you? Uh, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I really sometimes I get up like at five o'clock, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, oh man, it's still three hours until Sunday with Ola. Yeah, what am I gonna do? So you know, but uh, it's it's a beautiful community that you created here, and I I couldn't be prouder and happier for you because now honestly, you created a beautiful community. Thank you so much. I have a video idea for oh, you. No. 
Okay. How about this? Saturday with Jen. Sa <laughs> mm, yeah. No? Oh? <laughs> mm, no. Jen, thank you so much for being on this little coffee with Ola. Be sure to check out the auction mm. when that's going to happen uh, in uh, September. From the 9th to the 11th in September, I'm going to auction off seven up to maybe more guitars. Yeah. And I'm gonna do. Bring I have them. first dibs on something. Well, if you want to, <laughs> maybe. And also, uh, obviously, look uh, looking forward to a new album as well. Hopefully, that's the plan for the rest of the year. I want to write and just enjoy life. Damn, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I have a present for you. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> um, do you remember every single time I send you something, you keep looking in the box for a severed finger, right? Yes. So I I found these awesome finger hooks. Well, are you telling you... me what it is? Before no, you're because open. I couldn't buy it. It was okay. sold out. So, okay. but that was what I wanted to get you. Mm -hmm. Like this hook, you screw it into the wall, and then you have a finger hook. Ah, okay. Awesome. I thought, but sorry, sold out. So I thought. I'll bring you something useful. Mm, I like useful things. Yeah, I know it's in German, but you gotta read it. What what does it say? It's something chocolate. Mm -hmm. Für den Fallen, dass es klappert, wackert oder schrauben locker sind. Nicht gleich weg wegwerfen, sondern erstmal flicken. Wow, your German is good. I, I, I told you, I, re I read German for two years. Wow. You didn't oh, know that? I, I, I know, oh, but I, I, German is really good. I have Stuttgart in my uh, Lederhosen. In Stuttgart? Yes. Really? That's, uh, immer. that's pretty much uh, genau. where I was born. Oh, in Stuttgart? Mm -hmm. Oh, Stuttgart. <laughs> so, okay. oh, so it's, a, it's chocolate brain and uh, eyes and then teeth. Yes. Wow, so, how considerate of you. Yeah, you know, as we get older, you need parts. I love place. chocolate. I'm a big fan of chocolate. Thank you so much. That's a great gift. You're welcome.